Hi, my name is Scott Neeson. I'm the Director of Marketing from Atenza. And today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to add feeds to Atenza feed readers. I'm using Atenza for Outlook, but the steps that I'm going to walk you through apply equally to Atenza for Outlook, Atenza for Windows, and Atenza for Mac. So to add a feed, I just open up the Atenza user configuration and I have a series of icons right at the top of that box that allow me to add feeds. So the first box says add a feed. This is what I call the brute force method. You type in the URL for the feed, you give the feed a name. If it's a secure feed, you add your credentials, username and password. You can add it to uh, folders that you've established to keep your feeds organized and hit add feed and that's all there is to it. We also give you the ability to browse feeds from a feed library and in this case I'm a, connected to the Atenza feed server and I have a list of all of the feeds that are available to me that have been stored on the Atenza feed server. So I can just go in and let's say I want to subscribe to the sales document feed from our SharePoint server. I just click on that add it to a folder that makes sense. So in this case I'm going to add it to the Atenza project management folder and I add that check feed and now I'm subscribed and each time a new document is put up on the SharePoint server in that category I'll receive that automatically through the feed. We also have the ability to create what we call persistent search feeds. So for a search feed essentially what you're doing is searching search engines on the open web and in this case we have 18 search engines that are available to you and these include the mainstream search engines like Google, Yahoo and MSN. We also include search engines that cover the blogosphere, Technorati and Feedster. You can even search for images and videos on Flickr and YouTube. So in this case, I'm interested in a conference that's coming up called Office 2. So I'm going to just add the search parameters Office 2.0 conference. I'm going to uh, see if people are tagging that on Delicious. I'm going to search Feedster, look for some images from Flickr, see what people are saying about the conference on Google Blogs and then uh, look and see if any news releases are being issued from the conference. I'm going to add that to a folder, Attends a Marketing Buzz, and add the feed. And as easily as that, I'll now be updated as soon as new information containing the phrase Office 2.0 Conference is picked up by any of those search engines that I just selected. And this is a great way to keep on top of dynamic events. Uh, it's a great tool also for tracking your own marketing buzz from your company, keeping an eye on competitors, and really any kind of research project that involves dynamic information that's changing over time. Persistent search is a great way to keep on top of that automatically. We can also uh, import and export OPML files and uh, an OPML file is nothing more than a list of subscriptions and with Atenza you can even export or import custom reading lists. So when we use the export function I get a list of all of the feeds that I'm subscribed to. I can deselect any of these to create a custom list that I can then share with my coworkers.